Hello, book friends. I have a book haul for you today. It was pretty slow at work today, so I left early and went and hit some thrift stores. The first one I went to was our local no-kill shelters thrift store. They have um, all their books are usually three for a dollar. And then they have some specialized books that they kind of just price uh, randomly. This one was one of their specialized books, Jenny Gordon and the Missing Heirloom. It was five dollars. Reminds me of a Nancy Drew. So I got that one. It's from 1950. And then the rest of these would have all been 33 cents. So I went ahead and found there was another Annie's Quilted Mysteries Raven Threads. So I picked that up. And then the rest of these are all in the Savannah's Secrets. This one's A Fallen Petal. Willful Transgressions. The Greatest of These. Seasons Meetings. And Beneath a Dragon Moon. And I also took some uh, pictures of the stores that I went to today just because I like to see other people's bookstores even if I'm not going to be visiting them I just think it's cool so I'm going to insert that here The next store I went to was uh, St. Vinny's, and they have some of their newer titles. They just price uh, individually. So this one was $3.49, and this one was $1.99, Nancy Drew, like the old copies of those. And then they have Donut Disturb, and I think that one was like $2.99. I'm going to see, um, there's a book signing in Vancouver, Washington. I think at the beginning of February with Paula Chase and Ellie Alexander. And so I'm going to take a bunch of my Ellie Ag Alexander books with me up there and have her sign those and then pick up her newest copy of whatever book she's got out coming out. The rest of these were $249. This one is called Home Sweet Homicide. It's uh, from 1991, I believe. She's a thoroughly modern Miss Marple, America's favorite small town sleuth. A Dewey James mystery. I've never heard of this before, so she's not my favorite small town sleuth, at least not yet. Uh, I'll read this and see what it's like. And then they had these old-timey uh, Alfred Hitchcocks. And you know they're old-timey when there's no barcodes. I love that. Uh, look at that. I think it, this one was $1.25. This one was $0.75. Cents. Not now. They were $2.49, but uh, back in the day. So I got those, and then they also had an Agatha Christie. The funerals are fatal, and that was a nice old copy as well. Fifty cents there, two forty nine now, and um, I got some more clips of that. This uh, Saint Benny's, so I'm going to insert that here.
last place I went was Dollar Tree just to check out what they have because they sometimes get a just a boatload of books in a lot of remainders um this time they didn't have a ton of stuff but I did go ahead and pick these up they had one just kind of a little inspirational book about mindfulness and then I found this one dear Emmy Blue it sounded interesting about a girl who puts a message in a balloon and releases it with her email address and then years later and oh and a secret Got to can't forget that. And years later, I got I must someone must find it. So, anyway, um, I am going to have some videos coming out soon uh, with going over some cozies from the '90s, well, the '80s, the '90s, and the early 2000s. Uh, like I said in my last video, I was a bookseller in the early '90s, and that's when I kind of got into the cozies uh, more in depth. I'd read. Agatha Christie and some others in my teens, but uh, that's when I got more familiar with cozies in the early 90s. So that's it for now. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.